Hola pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I hope that you guys are doing well and that you guys have had a really good week and that you guys are ready for the weekend. I know I am. I just want to rest. I just want to stay in bed and rest. But that is beside the point to why I am here. I am here to share with you guys that I know, I know that um, I believe that you guys remember that sometime this week i think it was on monday yes on monday the lord had told me to come and do a live you know start a live and just be in agreement with you guys concerning finances and i did that live and little did i know that the work the work stopped there that what god wanted to do stopped there uh, yesterday as i was just getting ready to go to bed and i was just you know praying anointing my house um i started feeling that the lord wanted me to go deeper with him he wanted me to press in more and as i put on worship music and started pressing in i wanted to speak in my earthly language right but it just wasn't working every time i just tried to speak and say something my tongues would like be confused and then i would start speaking in my earthly language i would just start praying in tongues and the more i prayed in tongues the more i felt the presence of god and i knew that there was something that the lord wanted me to decree there was something that the the lord wanted me to declare there was something that the lord wanted me to say with my mouth in my earthly language but that thing had to be according to what he was saying in the spirit and as i kept pressing in i pressed in i pressed in i pressed in and then i found myself speaking over finances decreeing and declaring that by the 30th the people that have received a word that by the 30th a specific thing was going to happen concerning finance that this thing happened i started pulling down on earth as it is in heaven just calling out houses cars everything that is related to finance yesterday the lord had me decree and declare it you know and just speak it out onto the earth just speak it that from the four corners of the earth from the east the west the north the north the south that these things manifest in the life of god's people and i went to bed and i knew i i knew that the lord was going to confirm what he had just done and in this dream that i had just minutes before waking up just at the nick of time before i woke up in this dream in this dream um i was at this retreat at this prayer retreat and there were a lot of people there some i knew some i didn't know some i've seen on tv some yeah i've seen like normally you know and we were really really blessed by the anointing that was on this man's life the anointing that god had graced this man you know that was hosting the retreat and i recall that i was leaving and i was going to some doctor's appointment i can't pinpoint what type of appointment it was but i know that the person that was taking me is a person that right now we are not okay right we are not okay and the lord was take and so this person was taking me to the appointment and i was like i need a mask and then i told her i'm not going to be long um so you can like just wait on me and I went into the doctor's room. I remember how I was dressed, you know, and I was looking pretty good, you know. I was looking very decent. I was actually overdressed, you know. Uh, For a doctor's appointment, I was actually overdressed. And as I proceeded to the counter to speak to the receptionist, a lady came, right? And she wanted to hand me some money so i was like why does she want to give me money does she think i don't have money to pay for my appointment so i looked around and i saw that it was elderly woman mixed race you know there was a dominant race but there was like a mixture of 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 races in the room right and 
so I was just like, oh, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. So um, I kept on talking to the receptionist. So the same lady that wanted to give me money sent, like, maybe her PA or her personal servant or whatever to come and call me. And as I approach her, um, I hear the Lord say, you do not dictate how I want to bless you. If I am opening a door, if I am sending someone to bless you and you don't even understand how, or it doesn't make sense to you, you just receive it. So I went to the lady and she handed me the money. She didn't say much. And I took the money and I said to her, thank you. Can I pray for you? And she was like, uh, yeah, like whatever. Like, it's weird. Like, look, everyone's now looking at me. And so I like kneeled down so that I could get to her level. I grabbed her hand with the money still in my hand, you know, and I prayed over her. And as I prayed over her, I felt like, you know, like it's normal, like nothing's really happening. But when I released her hand, I looked around the other woman were taken over by their anointing that those other women were blessed by the prayer and when i looked at the woman that gave me the money she was just crying and she was just in awe and all she could say was thank you and as i got up and i was like lord what just happened like what did you just do lord i turned around and i saw that the lady in the hospital the receptionists were giving everyone money there they were giving each and every person money. And then they said, this is money for your lunch. This is money for food. And I was very confused. I was like, first, this lady gives me money. And I feel like she thinks I don't have money to pay for my appointment. And now she's giving me money for food. And as I took the money and proceeded, I saw that this person that I'm not okay with was like just watching everything from far. She was just like, you know, observing everything. And in my head, I heard the Lord say, now they know who your God is. Now they know that I have called you and I have anointed you. But that part, I, that's not the part that I want to focus right now. This isn't the part that I want to focus on. And this dream is just confirmation to the word, the last part about um, Esther in chapter 2 that I want to release. And I believe I should release it by Monday. I believe this word will be out on Monday. But here is the instruction and this is what the Lord is saying. He's saying that those things that he promised you, they are still coming. That money that you are trusting him for, that money is still coming. It might not come in a way that you are expecting or in the way that you want. So... Whenever someone wants to bless you, it does not matter the amount. It does not matter how it makes you feel in that moment. Because I didn't feel okay. I was like, why does she think I don't have money? Like, is she thinking that I am, like, the way that I'm dressed, is it the way that I'm dressed that is portraying that? And God said to me, it does not matter how I am blessing you. The only thing that is really important is that I have sent them. I have opened this door. And I believe that the, the, what the Lord wants to say, the instruction here is, is that when you receive these blessings, when you receive this money that you are trusting God for, no matter who brings it, no matter how it comes, take your time and pray with that person. Pray with that person. I remember that when I prayed for that person, it had nothing to do with finance. The Lord started giving me word of knowledge. The Lord started giving me words straight from him for me to speak over this woman. And when I spoke over this woman, she wasn't the only one that was blessed. Other people around her were blessed. So don't be shy. Don't feel embarrassed. If the Lord has blessed you, who are we? If the Lord blesses us, who are we to be ashamed of glorifying his name, of praising him in that moment, of praying for that person? If that person has sowed into us with money, we can sow into that person's life with prayer. We can show our gratitude to God with saying, Father Lord, I believe in your word. I believe that you have called me, that you have chosen me. 
So I will stand and I will agree with what you are showing me, with what you are saying, so that this person can feel your touch, so that you can meet this person at the point of their need. This person was used by you to meet me at the point of my need. So let me, Father Lord God, sow back into their lives. And when you do that, when you take your time and you pray, when you stand in agreement with that person, even though you might feel in a moment that you are praying and nothing is happening, the Lord is saying that something is happening. Something is happening. That person will be blessed and people around you will be blessed. Will be blessed. And when you do that, another blessing will come in. Another blessing will come in. The same way that I stood up and I was ready to go and proceed with my appointment. They came to me and they were like, no, here is money. This is your lunch money. Not only was I blessed, but other people are blessed. There are people that are depending on your obedience. There are people that are depending on your obedience. And on Monday, I will get... I will go deeper into this word, but I believe that the Lord wanted me to release this right now because today is the 30th. Today is the 30th. No matter how the blessing comes, no matter the amount, do what the Lord is saying. And the Lord is saying when you receive it, bless that person, pray with that person. If it's in a public setting, do not be embarrassed, do it. Because through your prayers, those around will be blessed. Through your obedience, those around you, those around that person's life will be blessed. This person is meeting you through God at the point of your need. And God is giving you the grace to meet them at the point of their need. Many of you will say things. Many of you will pray. And the word of knowledge will be active in you. And people will know that it can only be God. You will be praying for people that have never spoken, have never said anything out loud of what they are going through. And when you speak it, they will know that God is real. They will know that God is attentive to their prayer. That God does exist and that God does not choose who he wants to bless but that God is watching over all of us so whatever blessing that you receive pray over that person pray with that person and let the Holy Spirit lead you let the Holy Spirit direct you flow with the Holy Spirit you don't have to do much Don't be nervous and just want to put on a show. No. Be led by the Holy Spirit. If it's a simple prayer, then let it be that simple prayer. Because it is not by your might, nor by your power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. So let the Spirit of the Lord do His work. Let the Spirit of God do His work. And as I keep speaking to you guys, I keep recalling i keep seeing the part of the dream where one woman that was being prayed for other people got delivered other people were set free other people were hit with the power of god other people started praying in tongues it just shows how one person is connected to so many other people and your obedience is important that's why god says obedience is better than sacrifice because in your obedience others are blessed when we sacrifice it's mostly for us at that moment it's for people that we want it's for people that we know it's for people that we have them in mind but when we are blessed when we are obedient we are opening doors For other people that we do not know. For other people in other countries. Out of your obedience. Out of the obedience of Jesus Christ. We were all saved. He died for the whole world. So the Lord is counting on your obedience. 
And when you obey, you will be repaid. When you obey, you will be repaid. So I just want to share that with you guys. And Father, you are so worthy, oh God. You are so worthy of your of our praise. Not because of the money. Not because of the finances. But because your ways, no one can imagine them. You say in, Jer- in Jeremiah that you will show us and tell us, oh God, things that we do not understand. Things that we do not even think of or imagine. Things that we cannot distinguish. How could we ever distinguish, Father, that in you blessing us and us just surrendering in prayer and praying for that person, others around that person would be blessed because of your anointing. Because when your anointing falls, oh Father, it does not choose who it wants to fall on. It meets the people at the point of their needs. As long as their hearts are open, you do what you need to do, oh Lord. Just do what you need to do when we are vessels, oh God, ready to be used, Father. Ready to be used. Even if the money that we receive is a penny, one dollar, or even if it is just food, if it's just clothing, whatever it is that is connected to money that you receive, pray over that person. Because God is doing a divine setup, a divine connection. And all he needs is your obedience. He even says you don't need to prepare. Because it will not be done by your strength nor by your power. But it is by my spirit. By the spirit of God. So guys, I will see you guys on Monday. On Monday or whenever, you know, the Lord leads monday whenever the lord leads and i don't know why i feel like saying you know if you want to share what god has done will do then you know just send me an email i would really love to stand in agreement with you some more you know i would really just you know let me be honest with you guys. There's nothing more that I like doing than praying for people. And I believe it's because I really feel that there's nothing better or there is nothing greater than someone standing in agreement with you and praying. And because I have been through so many tough times in my life, I've been through so many things in my life, and I wanted the people around me to stand in agreement with me in prayer. And because there wasn't much of of that going on because of the two different worlds that we were living in, the two different lifestyles that we were living in, when I just started praying and saying, God, whoever that you are raising up in this moment to be uh, an intercessor for me, whoever that you are, are just, you know, laying my name in their hearts, whoever that you are just using right now for them to pray for me, do not allow the enemy, you know, to stop them, to make them tired because... I need someone to stand in agreement with me. The weight is heavy. I know that you are with me. I know that the Holy Spirit is with me. But sometimes we just need, you know, that physical contact, that physical assurance. And after a while, after years and years, then the Lord started showing me, you know, people that I could agree with, sisters that... I could pray with and to me that is just beautiful having someone stand in agreement with you because you both believe in the same God and you guys know that you guys serve an impossible God and I believe that's why this dream was also so special to me just because of prayer I saw how many people are blessed prayer is such a powerful tool 
that sometimes we overlook. But so many people are blessed through that. So, you know, if you feel you need to send me a prayer request, send me a prayer request. If you feel you want to share what God will do in your life, what God has already done. I say has already done because I believe that the money that I was receiving in my dream, the money that I was receiving in the spiritual and the natural only does the natural only brings forth what has already happened in the spiritual realm so if you have already received it in the spiritual realm it is already yours it is already yours so if you want to share what god has done or whatever it is that is in your heart right now you guys are free to contact me and i believe that every month we will have a day where we will just come and all stand in agreement for the things that we are trusting God for concerning that month. I felt that as I started the video and I'm going to confirm with God some more and then we'll see what our father says. So guys, I love you guys. Stay blessed. Bye bye.